All right, so in this problem, we want to solve the polynomial equation. And in order to do so, when we have a polynomial where the coefficient does not equal 1, we are going to factor by grouping. Now, this has to be done first by finding two numbers, a times b, which is a and b. So we have to find a and b, which is 3 times 3, which equals 9. And we have to find two numbers, a and b, that equal to this 6 right over here. So in order to find these two numbers, we are first going to list the multiples of 9. So we have 1 and 9, 3 and 3. Now these two numbers, if we add them, a and b, these two numbers will give us 6. And therefore, we are going to take this 3 and 3 and break up this middle term right over here, 6x, into 3x and 3x using these two numbers. All right, so it's going to look like this. So we have 3x squared plus 3x, which is our a, and our b, which is also 3, plus 3x plus 3 equals 0. All right, now we are going to group these two terms, and now we're going to factor out the common factor. So when we take a look at our first parentheses, we can factor out a 3x, and what we're left with is x plus 1. And when we take a look at our second parentheses, a common factor that we can take out is a 3, and we're left with also x plus 1 equals 0. All right, so now when we factor out these two terms that we have inside of our parentheses, we have x plus 1, and what we're left with is 3x plus 3. All this equals 0. Now in order to solve for the value of x, we are going to set both of them equal to 0. So we have x plus 1 equals 0, and when we subtract 1 on both sides, we have x equals negative 1. And if we set our second one equal to 0, 3x plus 3 equals 0. We can subtract 3 on both sides. And we have 3x equals negative 3. And if we divide by 3 on both sides, we have x equals negative 1. So both of our x's equal negative 1. And if we take a look at our answers, answer b represents the correct answer because we only have the answer of x to equal negative 1. And therefore, b will be our final answer.